Hi. Derbersville is a little known corner of the world, but for Tron Scone, head technician and craft services manager at TV15. Oh, it's it's my whole world. It's it's everything. TV15 is a public access station that recently underwent some changes, mostly by necessity, when two of the station antennas were destroyed by the tornadoes that swept through late last summer. Tron spent most of his adult life as an engineer at General Electric, where he earned the respect of most of his peers and his employers. Nonetheless, Mr. Scone's heart always lay in custom electronics, race car, model train related arts, and ham radio. One ham radio enthusiast publication called him the Sultan of Single Sideband. Yeah, I can't say if that's true or not, but I'll, I'll take it. After retiring from GE, Tron had an abundance of time on his hands, and so it was the perfect chance to give back to the community. He knew he wanted to combine his skills in electronics with his desire to have his voice carried across the airwaves. So he left at the chance to help Wayne Gary Stacy and Bob Scavage rebuild the TV-15 antennas and get the low power signal back into the airwaves. When not fixing antenna hookups, Tron's voice can be heard on Sound of the Lakes, a weekly segment featuring poetry by Robert Frost and images and video of local nature spots. He also oversees the TV15 craft services table. This is Tron. Well, well, my initial controversial choice to include my specialty pickle and cream cheese finger witches to the menu has uh, since been a surprise hit. Uh, which is now embraced by most staff members. 